Hi everybody, uh, in today's video I'm just going to show you how you can get um, regular TV um, that you know you get over the year, so those free over the year um, television channels that you would normally get um, and I'm going to show you how you can get that TV uh, on a regular PC. Um, so this is um, a Windows 10 PC that I have here, um, it's actually a, a nice um, HB book. Um, it actually splits into two. You can actually take the uh, um, the tablet off the uh, base here if you wanted to. Um, it's just pressing this, and it comes off. Right? It's a really nice tablet by HP. Um, I will eventually get around to doing a review on this. Um, and it comes built in with um, Beats Audio technology as well, sound technology. And it just clips right in place like that. Anyway, so today's focus is, as I said, showing how to get you know, um, build, you know, free television streaming right on your on your laptop. What's great about this 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 TV is that it doesn't require the use of any of your data. Um, you don't even require a high speed internet connection because you are just going to be turning your PC into a, a regular good old fashioned television. Um, so that being said, what would you need? First off, you will need this little thing here. Now this is a digital TV tuner. Um, this particular one is from a company called Opage, and it's actually branded Xbox One because um, this uh, is actually designed to you. You can use this for the Xbox One, um, and you can you know stream t you know have TV playing in a small window while you're playing you know an Xbox One game. But the beauty of this is that you know it works on any, you know, in addition, I mean, Xbox, it's 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 a Microsoft uh, product, right? So you can pretty much use this on any you know, Windows um, OS device, like a Surface Pro 4 tablet or a Surface Pro 3 tablet. And uh, I do have a video on, on how to get TV configured for those as well. But for this one, I'm just going to use a regular PC, and this P PC happens to have Windows 10 on it. So you need to have one of these. And uh, I got this, this actually comes with an extension cable as well, uh, because I don't like to have the fact, you know, I don't like to, to, to have this sticking up the side of my laptop like that. It could, you know, you can break it or something, so I have a wire for it. So let me just connect that wire now. Like that. So anyway, that's what you need. Now you would need a good antenna. Um, I move around a lot and it's really good to have um, access to television when I'm in the coffee shop. So this antenna actually comes with the TV tuner. This has a range of 10 miles, so it can, it's, it's pretty good actually um, in terms of picking up channels. Um, so you need one of these. Obviously you'll connect the coax uh, a plug here into the terminal on the other side of the tuner like this. Let me do that now. Alright, so you have your antenna connected into one side of your tuner, then the other side obviously is a USB connection and you can guess where that's going to go, right? That will go into your PC. So, now this particular um, uh, PC only has two USB ports, so I've used one of them for my wireless mouse and I have one port on this side. Um, now what I have here is a D-Link, it's a four port USB hub, this is a USB 2.0 hub comes in very handy for, for things, things like this when I need extra ports. So what I'm going to do is plug uh, the uh, tuner into one port here. And I'm going to plug the D-Link hub into the USB port on the other side of the PC, like so. Now, what's important to note is when you hook this tuner up, um, you have to install some drivers and, of course, some software, right? But I strongly recommend before you even install any drivers that you connect this up to your PC first, right? So that the hardware can be detected. So let me just uh, leave that like that. Leave the antenna here on the side. Now, in order to run TV, you have the hardware which I just showed you. Now, and and now you're going to need to get access to drivers as well as an application that you can actually run. Um, and you know the application I'm going to install is something called Win. TV. 
Now I have version seven, um, actually I downloaded it, uh, bought it, downloaded it, and I have it on this USB stick. Um, I believe there's a version eight out today, but no worries, when, uh, version seven works as well. So what I'm gonna do is plug my USB key into one of the available ports on my little hub here. And I shall install the software. My mouse is good. Let's go into, um, let's get out of that mode there. Let me access the, so Win TV 7 is, so this whole drive, I just put the, the, whole, um, the whole application on the stick. So I formatted the stick first and just copied and pasted the entire um, program on here. So the setup um, file is what I'm looking for. So here's the setup executable. So let me just run that. Let me just say yes. So it's asking me to select a language. I'm going to say English. So here are the two steps. So first thing, let's install the drivers. And then once you've done that, we will install the WinTV version 7 application. So it says here, please check that your WinTV product is connected, which I mentioned. So yes, we have it connected. And it's now searching for hardware and updating drivers. So if you, uh, if you have a, an internet connection uh, established, go ahead and do that because once it, you know, it's going to search for updated drivers on the internet, but no worries if you don't have an internet connection, you know, the, the, the drivers that come with it will work as well. So would you like to install the device software? Yes, install. Takes a while, maybe a minute or so. Okay, so the drivers have been installed, updated successfully, and click to exit. Now step two, install the WinTV app. Let's do that now. So here we have the welcome screen for the installation of WinTV. So let's, let's click install. Now it's gonna start installing. Okay, so I entered the um, product code. Um, so if you, you know, if you, when you buy this, you usually get a CD and the product code is on the CD. Um, so just keep note of that. Um, so I'm now gonna choose a destination location to install the software. So let's go for that, install. Yep, C drive is good, install, and it's gonna go install. Installation is complete, let's click finish. Okay, now you, you do have the option of this bypassing the registration, uh, right? For the purpose of this video, I just skipped it, but I would recommend you register your software, you know, once you've installed it. Now, here's the device setup wizard, because I'm running it for the first time. Um, so here's the device and I wanted to scan for digital ATSC channels um, because those are the free over the year digital channels and I'm going to leave the default settings for the scan start and end channel it's going to start at channel 2 and end at channel 69 um, if you have that internet access put your zip code in here um, and then what would happen is that the it, it can go into something called internet assisted scan mode so based on you know your zip code, it, you know the software will know where you reside, and if they know where you reside, they will know what ch channels should be available in your area, right? So really help with the scanning process and maybe even help speed it up. But I'm gonna leave it blank because I'm curious to see what I will pick up. So the the, the scanning process has started. Now it will take a couple of minutes, uh, and I suspect that I may get about four or five channels. Um, so Let's see what we can get here. Okay, so far we've picked up three channels and I think we're halfway through. Wow, so we have, let's see, we've got a couple channels here and we're about three quarters of the way through. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15 channels so far, all ATSC, and they're all television channels. Um, this software also picks up like FM stations as well for music. 
um, but I just selected the ATSC um, television channel setting. So let's give it another minute or so and we should be finished shortly with the scan. Okay, so the scan is complete and I think we got about 14 channels. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we've got 19 channels. So let's click next. And let's say start watching TV. Let's click next. And here you have instant TV. Now let me just turn on the speaker. So you can click here and you can adjust the volume. Now what's really good about this software as well is that you can run it in the window, right? And you can you know, have your window uh, with your TV and you should be able to as well adjust the size of the window. Um, so that's as small as it goes but then you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller and go full screen. And what I like about this as well is that you can also record live video. So this is this is a live um, um, channel right now. And then what I can do is actually, if I press record, you see that red bar? It means you're actually recording, right? And that's really, really cool. Now, what's good about this is when you're recording, well, you can change channels here by just pressing the up bar here. And you, Change channels here again. Let's see what else we have. Investigators have thought that Martha Seifert was the key to solving this murder. Huh? So as you can see, you have all these channels here that I'm going through. Now, what you can do is you can also record live TV. So there's a little red button here. You press that, and you see this red bar along the bottom. It shows you that it's recording right now. Now, while it's recording, what's really good? is that you cannot change the channel while it's recording. The channel changer is locked, right? Uh, which is good because you don't wanna, you know, if you're recording something, you don't wanna like change channels by mistake and, and lose your feed. So to stop recording, just press the little red thing here and you stop recording. And now I can change channels, right? Which is pretty good. So, Now to find out where I stored that recording, I cannot remember the default directory, so if this press this little gear here, it takes me it takes me to settings. And then you can go up to capture the capture tab. And then it shows you the recordings directory. So my default directory is C uh, backslash users, backslash public, backslash videos. So if I go there now, actually what I'm gonna do is this turn so it's users public videos right so let me just turn off this app and let's go to that directory now PC C users public and public videos so here's the C, C users public public videos and here are the recordings right here that I just made right so you can just pl press those to play the recordings but it's going to show you where it's, where they're located so you can watch your favorite TV show, and if you have something to do that's more important, you can just record your, your live TV. So I'm just going to go back into the application again. Um, so as you can see, it's very, very easy. Once you've done all the scanning and all that, you just run the app and it comes up to the last channel that you're watching. And uh, that's it. You can record live TV. Uh, you can, you know, browse channels, uh, just like, you're, like, a, like you do a normal television. You can move around the, the window. Um, and then you can also um, go to full screen mode. Let's find that channel. Yeah, and you can go to full screen mode. And uh, yeah, and what I like about this is is that you know because it's ultra portable. Um, and actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Let me just show. You. Let me just move, remove some of this clutter. Uh, let's just disconnect this hub. I don't need that anymore. I don't need this cable or this hub. So all you virtually would need is just the antenna. Now this cable is about five feet long. 
So if you need to, to get a better reception, you can you know mount this antenna somewhere like on a bookcase. But this is pretty much all you need, the actual tuner itself. You can plug it into the side if you don't want to have that wire. And you just have the tuner and you have the antenna and that's it. A very clean look. And then you can run the app again. Now sometimes if you don't see the, uh, uh, the feed come up in instantaneously, just change the channel. Then it would buffer and then you have TV. So this, there you go. So you have TV there, let's change again. See? So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you get live digital TV uh, on your laptop making your laptop virtually a television set. Um, Cause especially here in North America, there are lots of free um, over the year, like digital channels that stream, you know, not stream, but you know, give you live television. So why not just pick up on those signals and save yourself the hassle of paying uh, expensive stream, uh, data, data rates to stream uh, from the internet, right? And uh, what's really good about this, I can be in my coffee shop and I can be working on my spreadsheet and I can have my TV in the background, right? So there will be a link at the bottom of this page where you can get yourself one of these nice little digital uh, TV tuners. As you can, it's very, it's very, very small. It's like the size of a very, very small box of matches. And this antenna is small and compact as well and has a range of about 10 miles. Now, one quick look at the antenna. Um, so as I said previously, it does have a range of 10 miles, up to 10 miles. And um, to actually help get uh, an even better reception, this is a an extendable antenna. You can actually extend it. And I think it's roughly a foot of extension that you have on this antenna, right? So when you stand it up, you know, you have you have it looking like this. So that's pretty cool. And I will also have uh, a link as well uh, when you get uh, one of these ultrabooks um, with the detachable um, tablet. Uh, as well, if you're interested. Okay, guys, you guys have a great day. Bye bye. So, I hope you enjoyed that video. Now, I'm going to ask you to do two things before you leave. One, there's a button right up here on the screen to my right here. Click on that, and that will take you to our website, www.redtechbot.com. When you get on that site, there will be a button there where you can actually sign up for our newsletter. And when you do sign up for our newsletter by entering in your email address, you will automatically be entered into all of our tech giveaways. And by tech giveaways, these are some typical examples of what we will be giving away. Uh, and these are some examples, there's other stuff as well. Um, and the good news is, you're, you know, you just have to enter your email address once and you know, it will automatically be entered into the pool every time we do a draw. Um, and we will use that email address, of course, to, to contact the winner, to tell them, hey, you've won something. Um, and you know it's it's uh, it's really cool, and of course the newsletter will have you know you know updates on tech reviews, what's coming up new, uh, you know what's coming up next, um, you know new stuff uh, in the industry, and even information on, on future giveaways, right? So it's really a really really nice newsletter that we're going to be uh, uh, sending out. And one other thing is on this side on the screen here up here, on my left. Uh, you click on that and you will subscribe to the channel. Now by subscribing, of course, you will be you know, at the forefront of any new things that are happening, any new videos that are coming out. Um, and what I will also be doing is I'll be doing videos where I'll be talking about what we're going to be doing as a next giveaway, right? So you want to be you know, subscribed, tuned in to that as well. So it's going to be a fun year and fun years to come as well. So yeah, that being said, you guys have a great day. Bye.